Have this positivity symbol, and this is what I mean. They are just too positive. They think everybody is like them. Everybody is growing and moving forward, and wanting something better for the other party. But it's not. And I had to learn this the hard way. Let me share you more about it. This second story happened recently, and it's a story about one of my. Cost reps, yes. His name is Feng. I still remember. And there was this class I had to take, and I selected him as this class rep. His job was simple. Facilitate communication, you know, when I have something to pass across, I tell him. When the class have something to pass across, they tell him, man, you know. And of course, I have some books that I want to sell to the students. So you're closer to the students, so you, you can easily sell it. Fine. The first class, we had about 10 interests. To my surprise, family gave me seven. Okay. Maybe the rest, their transfer has not been confirmed, you know, something or the other. So, okay, fine. I gave them the books. Next class came. Family gave me additional five. As he was giving me the names of the people that have paid and uh, the interested, and I was handing them, and I was handing the books over to him, I noticed he had more names, about 20 something on his book. What? My names are like 12, 25. So I just said, okay, Femi, I know you have a class now. Tomorrow, come to school, bring all your records. Let me bring mine so that we'll compare and see what's up. And he said, oh, fine, I will. The next day, it was a Thursday. I called Femi, I couldn't see him. I called again, unreachable. I asked one of my students to call him. His number went through. Could it be what I'm thinking? Can this guy have blocked me? I just kept a positive atmosphere like, no. Yeah, if this is a new student, he won't do such a thing. Everything went in mind. I was waiting for the next class. I came to the next class and to my surprise, they, they, they were not there. I was told they had one competition or something like that. <laughs> okay, fine. Things like that happened. Next class, making the fourth week, still they had another competition or something else. What is going on? Fifth class, I was determined like, even if they have a competition today, I have to see the class, I have to see them, I have to know what is going on. I got hold of the class, thank God. And about 25 people came to me like, well, we've paid to Femi, we've paid, we've paid, we've paid, we've not gotten to go, we've paid. I was like, dang, this guy in a repow. And the most annoying thing is that I just told everybody, okay, don't worry, be, be fine. I'll sort you. I gave them books. I took down their names. And I told them, nobody should pay to find me again. And I didn't even expose him for the fraud he is. I didn't expose him because I, I felt like exposing him, telling the class that Femi has taken some of the money and run and that he has blocked me. I'm not able to reach him. I, I felt it will show as if I'm weak. I, I can't control the class. I can't control a, a, a small boy like that. Don't get me wrong. Personal development is good. It helps you think better, become more positive, have a positive outlook towards life. But well, not everybody is in personal development. That's the mistake most people make. And sometimes it costs millions. Sometimes it costs us betrayer and trusting the people that are not meant to be trusted. If your name is Femi, you can come close to me. Subscribe if you haven't. See you next week.